So hi everybody and welcome to my new video. In today's video we are going to make a simple line chart and a simple bar chart. Just to understand the basics of inserting and adjusting a standard chart in Excel. Please enjoy the video and I hope you will learn something new. So first of all I will let you see how you can insert a graph. The easiest way is to first select your data and make sure you also select your headers which makes it easy to uh, set a title uh, for the axis or the uh, data range. And I select the data and go to the insert tab and here I can uh, click recommended chart or if you already know which type chart you want to use you see here bar chart, a line chart, a pie chart. Uh, there are lots of options. Um, when I click recommended charts, I can uh, see a preview already. So uh, this is a stacked area chart, a scatter plot, a, a clustered column, and a, a simple line graph. Uh, I want to make a simple line graph, but I can also show you this uh, already. Uh, here are all the charts uh, which are uh, available in Excel. And uh, you can also, for example, see when you click surface at uh, 3D surface, the OK button is gray because this data, this uh, set of data is not uh, suitable for 3D surface graph. So um, Excel lets you know uh, by uh, making the OK button gray. So like I said, I just want a simple line chart. I click OK and here I have my basic line chart. I also want to uh, show you another way of inserting a line chart. So I delete this one and I um, I'm not going to select my data. I just going to insert a basic simple line chart by clicking here on the line chart on the insert top. And you just see a white blank uh, square because Excel doesn't know uh, which uh, data must be used uh, to make it graph. And uh, for that I can click right and I say select data. Well, I want a line of the temperature. So I get to uh, add a series. The series name is in this cell and I click this cell, the temperature. The data for that uh, is this. And when I select it, I directly see this line uh, appearing here in my uh, graph uh, which indicates I uh, have selected the right data so this is the graph for the temperature. Well now uh, the uh, vertical axis is uh, nice it's going from 0 to 30 just for the temperature. My horizontal axis is just the numbers 1 to 8. So uh, data entry 1, 2, 3 and so on. But uh, the nice thing would be uh, to have the dates on the horizontal axis. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, the horizontal axis labels, I needed to edit them. Here you see the 1, 2, 3, 4, which you also see here. When I click edit, I can select the range. I want this range as my horizontal data labels. Axis labels, I mean. So when I select that, I can click OK again, and now my chart looks just the same as when I inserted it by selecting my data, click the Insert tab, and click the line chart or recommended chart. Now I have my graph, and um, now I can format it. Um, you can uh, select the graph, right click and say format chart area, but like I explained in my previous videos about shortcuts, I always use the console one shortcut. Here I select the graph and I press console one and I get the format chart area window. Well, you need to know um, you get the uh, format uh, window from the object you did select. So now uh, I only selected my chart, but when I select my horizontal axis and I press Ctrl 1, I get the format axis window. And when I only select the line and I press Ctrl 1, I get the format data series window. And when I select my title, I get my format chart title window when I press Ctrl 1. So please. Be careful what you have selected, so uh, when you want to adjust something and you think the option is not available, always check if you selected the right object in your graph. 
So now I can, um, for example, uh, change the format of the of the chart tit title in here. I have always uh, a few options here uh, on the top. This is the fill and line. So you can uh, add a line on, around your uh, title. This is the effects uh, menu. You can add a shadow, uh, for example. And this is the size and properties um, window. Here you can um, change the alignment of the, of the title. So uh, it can in the middle, top, uh, middle centered. Um, so these are the options on the uh, chart title. So you can also now, when the formatting uh, menu is open, you can uh, change your selection to your uh, data series, your line. And here you can um, change the formatting of your line. So you can change the uh, color of your line to yellow, for example. You can make it an, uh, a lot thicker. You can change the type of the line. Um, all things you can uh, change here and here you see again all these uh, options here you can uh, add a shadow um, i can also um, for example um, select the horizontal axis and i can uh, adjust it here again the same way um, another thing I want to show you is the uh, horizontal axis um, you see the temperature is never dropping down below 15 and um, my axis is going from 0 to 30 so let's say I want my axis going from 15 to 30 I can select the axis I can go to uh, this one uh, the axis options and I can say my minimum is 15 degrees so when I type 15, press enter, uh, you see my graph will become much more detailed and uh, it's a more clear view of the temperature. Um, that's a nice thing uh, to format, for example. You can also select your whole graph again and then you will see uh, this one, the um, properties here. I always select the don't move or size with cells. So this just means when I um, enlarge a column or make it smaller or delete a column, the uh, size uh, of the graph is not um, changed by that. So um, it doesn't move or size by uh, deleting uh, columns or rows. And that's basically what I always want. So this is an important one. So well, you see, you can uh, select all elements of the uh, graph and um, by that you can uh, adjust the format. Another thing I want to show you is when you have selected your uh, graph, there is a little plus button here. I can click it and I can um, check or uncheck all the elements in your graph. So when you uh, drag over it with your mouse, you already see a uh, example. So, uh, for example, when I go with my mouse over the data labels, I see my data labels appearing on the line. And when I go um, over the legend, for example, well, in this case, it uh, doesn't add uh, much. But uh, when you have more lines in one graph, a legend can be very useful to, um, to indicate which line and which color of line is uh, referring to which um, category. So you can um, uh, check and uncheck all the objects and the elements in your chart. So it's a fast way to, um, to add or remove elements in your chart. So well, now we made a simple line chart. Um, I'm going to show you very fast also another type of chart. And that is with this one. We have some products and we have some uh, amount of sales. And I can select this and again click recommended charts and I want a clustered column. So when I select this one, I can also click a pie, clustered bar, but here I want a clustered column. So this is just a column chart and you see it's based on this uh, data. Um, it just works the same as uh, with the uh, line graph. Well, there are some other options which belong to a uh, bar chart um, specifically, but uh, you can uh, also click the plus and um, 
um, add the elements or remove them. For example, the data labels are always nice on a bar chart. And um, also here I can just select the graph. I can press Ctrl 1 and again I get all the options of formatting my graph. Here I can also select the bars. I can uh, set the colors of the bars. For example, it's green. <coughs> oh, this is the border. I can also uh, get the fill to green. And I get green bars. So um, there are also a lot of options for the bar chart, uh, basically for all type of charts. So now you see some um, different types of charts, which I uh, simply made out of these data sets. So that was the video about making a simple graph in Excel. I hope you learned some new things and uh, that I have triggered your interest in making graphs in Excel. And we will dig some deeper into graphs in one of my future videos. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the video and want to see some more.